Today, I'll show you a fantastic way to label and organize your tools using a straightforward 3D printed tool that anyone can use. This method of organization isn't limited to just my tools. In fact, it's highly adaptable for organizing kitchens, homes, and various other spaces. After going through several design iterations, I ultimately chose this one and sent it to my Voron 2.4 3D printer. While there are only seven pieces to print, this project will require a substantial number of magnets. The precision in the hole dimensions ensures a snug fit for the magnets by friction alone. However, I opted to use super glue for a permanent bond despite this reliable fit. To consistently align the magnet polarity, I also created a handy tool, a simple stick, to help accurately sort and determine the magnet's orientation. We'll call this the polarity stick. Using either side ensures consistent magnet polarity. A single tool like this is all that's needed. The main body will incorporate 8x3 magnets on all surfaces. We can begin placing the magnets into position using the table's corner. Their secure fit, combined with the adhesive guarantees, they won't come loose over time. Furthermore, the holes were strategically designed on the opposite side of the unit. Anyway, you may consider this an introduction to the upcoming video showcasing custom-made aluminum extrusion furniture for my study room, complete with LED lights. This is my highly organized man cave. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to stay updated for the video launch. We do not need to worry about the polarity of the larger magnets. Their role is solely to keep the bottle attached to the main body. However, for the smaller 6x3 magnets, we'll utilize the polarity stick. It's my technique for maintaining consistent magnet orientation. By consistently using only one side of the stick, the assembly process remains error-free. Once all these magnets are in position, the main body is complete. Following that, for an extra layer of assurance, I'll mark the magnets. Using a sharpie, I'll denote the bottom sides of the magnets, preparing them for the next step. Four magnets will be inserted into this 3D printed elbow. I've designed the elbow to be magnetic for easy detachment, allowing me to shift it to different positions whenever necessary. The sides marked will need to face downwards as they're carefully inserted into the holes. I prefer to test the parts before proceeding further, just to ensure everything fits correctly. And now that everything is in order, it's time to insert the remaining magnets. I typically add an additional coat of super glue to secure them firmly in place. For the final two magnets, I need to slide them in carefully to prevent their magnetic attraction to each other. The polarity stick will be used differently this time. The magnet will be directly inserted into the sticker plate and gently hammered in place. As always, it's essential to check before moving on to the next step. Since everything is functioning correctly, let's pick up the pace. These are the final magnets to be glued in. And once this is done, we'll be ready to test out the entire system. This design uses three elbows and three sticker plates, enabling the application of three label stickers on each bottle. This practicality is crucial for my organization method as it provides sufficient data I require on each and every bottle. As you can see here, everything fits exactly in position and every magnet is doing its job correctly. And since I no longer require the polarity sticks for this project, I'll keep them to the side of the table for now. Now, let's proceed to print the labels. I'm quite fond of this straightforward device and app that connects via Bluetooth. Its simple interface offers all the necessary text boxes to create the labels. We can easily do this on our mobile phones and print the labels wirelessly. And in my very case, with a substantial amount of fixtures and joinery hardware that needs cataloging and labeling, this device is definitely a perfect fit for the task. Recently, a friend introduced me to the Myers-Briggs type indicator during his visit to view my home projects. He highly suspected I belong to this category called the INTJ. Well, guess what? He's right. It's been eye-opening to understand how this personality type aligns with my strong need for organization. If you haven't heard of this, I strongly suggest you do a test for yourself because I found it deadly accurate. 
I'll leave the link in the description below. Please share your personality type if you've taken the test. Let's return to the labels. The sticker plate serves to align the label in the correct position. And once the labels are affixed, the remaining parts can be easily peeled off, completing the task. To label the next bottle, all the parts easily reattach magnetically, allowing the entire process to be repeated in the exact position as the previous one. It's fantastic how this system offers such repeatability. I've invested countless hours to ensure everything is correctly labeled, bringing me peace of mind for the future. Using magnets opens up numerous possibilities with this tool. We can adjust the elbow into various positions and even apply two labels simultaneously, showcasing the versatility of this system. I'm yet to finalize what information I'll include on the third label, but you might already have some ideas for its use. If you're interested in the design, you can download it from our website. Feel free to modify the 3D model to suit the specific container you have available. And for the full video on how I built the storage rack for these bottles, please hang on tight. The editing will be ready in due time. My aluminum method is definitely a new way to build furniture, and I am extremely glad to be sharing my skills with all of you. But if you don't want to wait and you want to learn something right now, you can watch this video that will teach you how to build an aluminum furniture.